everyone and welcome. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this woven textured afghan square and uh, this is one of the blocks in the crochet long on the unraveled mitten so if you're here for that crochet long welcome if you haven't heard about it uh, yet I'll place the link in the description of this video uh, for the uh, unraveled mitten site. Now uh, this pattern for the woven textured afghan square can be found on my blog at ridgetexturescrochet.com and I'll provide the direct link for you also uh, to that pattern in the description of this video. So today we're working on this square. This afghan square measures approximately 12 inches by 12 inches and uh, here I've worked it in two different colors you're welcome to work it in as many or few as you'd like. It's a great textured square. It's uh, quite thick. It's similar on both sides, which makes it a great reversible pattern. Uh, I have worked a simple single crochet edging to make the squares easier for joining together uh, at the end all the way around. For this afghan square, you are going to need almost a uh, hundred yards, not quite, but almost a hundred yards of two different colors of a worsted weight yarn. I'm using the paint box yarn, Simply Aran colors, uh, color number 235, as well as color number 204. So this is just a worsted weight acrylic yarn. You're again welcome to switch it up. Uh, I'm also using a five millimeter crochet hook, and if you're interested in both of these items, there's also links in the description of this video for them. So um, thank you once again for joining me. And uh, once again, you can grab the free pattern on richtexturescrochet.com. And uh, while you're here, I invite you to take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our pattern today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain is going to be a total of 45 chains. If you need to change the size of your square, you can simply chain a foundation chain that has a multiple of 4 plus 1 stitches. So today I'm going to go ahead and chain 45. Fifteen, twenty five, thirty five, and 45. Now uh, my square I have started using uh, working my foundation chain in my color A if you are working it in more than one color and my color A is this blue color here. Once you have worked your foundation chain you're going to then single crochet into the second chain from your hook count in one, two, I like to work into the back bumps of my chain. It gives a nice finished edge on the other side. So you're going to single crochet into that second chain and then to into each chain all the way across. At the end of this row, you're going to have a total of 45 single crochet stitches, or 44 single crochet stitches. At the end of your row one, you'll have 44 single crochet stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're simply going to repeat row one, single crochet into each stitch all the way across. Your chain one does not count as a stitch, so be sure to work your first single crochet into the top into the stitch uh, that's at the base of that turning chain. 
So single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you work your last stitch, you're going to change to your color B. If uh, you'd like, meet me back here when you get to the end of the row and I will uh, show you how to do that. At the end of row two, uh, you're going to come to your final stitch and as mentioned earlier, you're going to want to switch to your color B. So this is a very easy way to switch colors or add a new ball of yarn uh, at any point in your project. This is the way that I prefer to do it. What you're going to do is I haven't worked that last stitch yet. It's the stitch prior to the uh, next stitch where I'd like the new color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook for a single crochet and I'm going to yarn over and draw up a loop. I'm still using my color A there. I'm then going to drop my color A, pick up my color B, which is this light silvery gray, and place it on my hook. I then pull it through the two loops that are on my hook, and I'm all set to continue on working in my new color. So that's how I like to change color in any project. So now I'm ready to continue with my color B for row 3. I'm going to chain 1 and turn my work. At this time, I'm not going to fasten off my color A. I'm going to carry it along the side of my work. Because I'm working the edging, I can hide that, uh, that thread later on. So I'm just going to leave it attached for now. There's less ends to weave in. Once you've turned your work, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch and into each of the next two stitches. Now working over top of the stitches and into the foundation chain, there are two rows below, I'm going to work a long double crochet stitch. So I'm actually going to work it here into my fourth chain down below. To work the long double crochet, I'm going to yarn over, bring my hook here in front of my work, insert it down into the chain down below that fourth chain, yarn over, and I'm going to draw up a loop. Draw up your loop so that it comes up to the top of your row where you're working. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That is your long double crochet stitch. You're going to do that twice. So that's the first one. The second one, yarn over, bring your hook down into the next stitch down below, insert your hook just into the foundation chain, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. You're then, you're going to skip the stitches that are worked under those long double crochet stitches. So don't need to worry about working into those, but into the next two stitches, you're going to single crochet up top. So there's one, and two. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. So working into the foundation chain, into each of the next two stitches, uh, three rows below, work a long double crochet. So if you get mixed up, you can just count down below in your foundation chain. There's one, two, so I've skipped those two. I'm now into this next one, yarn over, Insert your hook down into that foundation chain, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Going to do that one more time into the next stitch of my foundation chain, just like so. Next, single crochet into each of the next two unworked stitches. Repeat that all the way across to your final three stitches where you will finish off with three 
single crochets, one in each of the final three stitches. I'm here at the end of my row three, working a single crochet into each of the final three stitches. At the end of row three, you can chain one and turn your work. For row three, you're going to single crochet into the first stitch, chain two, skip the next two single crochet stitches, and then single crochet into each of the next two double crochet stitches. You're then going to repeat chain two, skip the next two single crochet stitches, and single crochet into each of the next two double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across to your final stitch where you will work, uh, you'll skip two and then work one final single crochet into that last stitch. I'm at the end of my row four. I'm going to chain two, skip two, and single crochet into that final stitch. And actually this time I'm going to want to switch back to my color A. So I insert my hook yarn over and drop a loop, drop my color B, pick up my color A and bring it up, place it on my hook. Don't pull your color A too tight because you don't want it to cause the fabric to buckle, but I'm just pulling it up there along the side, placing it on my hook, and pulling it through. And then I'm all set to begin row five. For row five, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. I'm then going to single crochet into that first stitch. Now working over that chain space and over top of the stitches there in the next row down, so into the row that's below my last, uh, my first row that I worked there in color B, so into the row three rows below, I'm going to work my two double crochet stitches. So all the way down underneath that stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, Pull it up to the same height, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You're going to do that twice. So again, just underneath this last stitch here, three rows below, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. You're then going to skip that chain two space in behind and simply uh, chain two skip these next two single crochet stitches and you're then going to repeat. So I've chained two. I'm now going to work two long double crochet stitches into the next stitch, three rows below, like so. One into each of the next two stitches. Chain two, skip the next two single crochets and repeat. You're going to repeat that all the way across. I'm here at the end of my row five working my final two long double crochet stitches. And then one more single crochet into that final stitch. Still working in my color A, I can chain one and turn my work. Now ready to begin row six. 
For row six, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch, single crochet into each of the next two double crochet stitches, and then work two single crochets into the next chain two space. You're going to repeat that all the way across, single crochet in each of the next two double crochets, and single two single crochets into your chain two space. Repeat that all the way across and you will single crochet into your final stitch. When you come to your final sit stitch of your row six where you're going to single crochet, at this time you're also going to want to change colors. So insert your hook, yarn over, and drop a loop. Drop your color A, pick up your color B, place it on your hook, and pull through. You're now ready to begin row seven in your color B. So chain one and turn your work. For row seven, you're going to work one single crochet into each of the three first three stitches. So there's one, two, three. You're now going to work a long double crochet into the single crochet that is three rows below. So working over top of the last single crochet row and your chain two and your long double crochet row, just into the tops of the stitches three rows below. So yarn over, insert your hook, bring your hook in front, insert it down into the top of that single crochet three rows below, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, do that once more into the next stitch, three rows below, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now working back up top, you're going to single crochet, into each of the next two stitches. You're now going to repeat all the way across, long double crochet into the single crochet three rows below. Do that twice. And then back up top, a single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across to your final three stitches where you will work a single crochet into each of them. At the end of your row seven, you're single crocheting into each of the final three stitches. Chain one and turn your work. For row eight, you're going to repeat exactly what you did in row four. So single crochet into that first stitch, chain two, skip the next two single crochet stitches, and work one single crochet in each of the next two double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across, chain two, skip the next two stitches, and single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across and uh, when you come to your final three stitches you'll chain two, skip two, single crochet into that final stitch and at the end of this row you're going to want to switch back to your color A. At the end of your row eight, you've chained two, skipped two, single crochet into that final sw stitch, switching back to your color A. You can then chain one and turn your work. You are now, for the rest of your square, going to repeat rows five through to eight until your work from the beginning measures approximately 11 inches or your desired size. You want it to be nice and square. So go ahead work rows 5 through to 8 
until your work from the beginning measures approximately 11 inches and then uh, you can meet me back here. So welcome back. Now once you're uh, finished your square you should have something that looks uh, like this and you'll want to work it until it measures approximately 11 inches and you're going to want to end on either a row 5 or a row 7 and uh, and then that way you'll have a nice uh, smooth edge up at the top. Once you have done that there's no need to fasten off. What you can do is you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work a round of single crochet to edging so actually two rounds of single crochet edging and you're going to start by working one single crochet into each stitch all the way across so all the way across the top of your square single crochet into each stitch Once you've worked all the way across and you come to that corner stitch, you will work three single crochet stitches all into that same corner stitch. And that's going to bring uh, you around to the other side, to the next side of your work. So single crochet in each stitch across, three single crochets into the corner. You're now going to work along this rough edge and you're going to work uh, 42 single crochet stitches evenly all the way across. So there's no pretty places to put your hook. You're just trying to space them out as evenly as you can and working all the way across. If it helps, uh, you can place a stitch marker in the middle and work 21 stitches on one side, 21 on the other. But uh, yeah, just go ahead, evenly work 42 single crochet stitches all the way along the side. Once you have worked all the way around that along that rough edge and you've worked uh, 42 single crochets, you should be up at your corner stitch. Once again, you're going to work three single crochet stitches into your corner. You're then going to work one single crochet stitch into each, uh, it was originally your foundation chain, so one single crochet stitch into each stitch all the way across. You're going to do that to your corner. Once again, when you get to your corner, you're going to work three stitches into that corner stitch, work 42 single crochets all along your edge. When you come to that first corner, you're going to work uh, two stitches into your final corner down here and join with a slip stitch. So I'll leave you to go ahead, work uh, one single crochet in each stitch across the end, 42 up the side, and I'll meet you back up when we're ready to join at the end of this round. I am back up here working my final two single crochet stitches into that corner stitch. I'm then going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Now for the final round of your edging you're going to pretty much repeat what you just did. Chain one single crochet into that first stitch. You're then going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around working three single crochet stitches into each corner stitch. When you arrive back up at your first stitch, you can join with a slip stitch into that stitch, fasten off, weave in your ends, and your woven textured afghan square is complete. So thank you so much for joining me, and once again I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and uh, check out some of the other free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.